welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very well. I'm sorry to bring you the reminder that college is very, very close and it's gonna be happening really soon. I wanted to show you guys what's in my college backpack. As a third year film student who kind of has an idea of what you need. So let's get into it. <laughs> so let's get this bad boy open. I'm not gonna try to pronounce all of it, but it is a Kankin 15 inch backpack, which means it fits a MacBook, like an average size laptop in it. They're kind of a pricey bag, but I have had mine probably nearly four years now, and I love it. I absolutely adore it. It's looking a little bit like she needs some more love in her life, but I'm obsessed. I love the color. I'm so happy with it. I got it when I was in Amsterdam. One of my favorite purchases I've ever made. So first things first, we're gonna talk about this little compartment. Most bags have this little zip compartment at the front, which I kind of see as like your essentials. The things that you don't want to go rummaging through your bag for, you need them right there, right then, easy access, that's what we want. So first thing in my bag. <laughs> First thing is I've got two pens because even though I have a pencil case in my main bag you never know when you need to pull out a pen and you need to do it quickly or you need to sign something or anything like that so it's always good to just have quick access to pens so yeah two pens easy peasy next we have a hair clip for some reason my bag is like full of hair clips and hair ties because I just have this like hatred for when you're somewhere and all you want to do is pull your hair out of your face and you've got nothing to do it with. Nothing. So to avoid that happening, I have lots in my bag. So I've got a large hair clip. Even though I'm still not 100% sure how to use these things, there you go. Next we have, oh, I was about to show you my whole student ID. Next we have student ID. It's a student ID card. I don't know if I want to show you guys that, but you get the gist. For most colleges, you need a student ID card and it's kind of like the only one they give you for the full duration of the time you're there, unless you lose it, which I recommend don't do that. That's kind of everything I have in my main pocket, but I would recommend putting in some cash in there. Maybe not in there. What if somebody opens your backpack? I would recommend having some coins or like five euro or five dollars, five pounds, whatever. Just some change to have that if you need it, you can grab it there. And I also recommend if you have AirPods or headphones to put them in there. Next. So now it's time for the main compartment. Ah. Oops. I guess we'll start with this since I've just dropped it out of my bag. But this is my main compartment. It's like bags within bags. I have everything sectioned up. And I love it. First things first, this is kind of like my leads and my equipment that I need. So first of all, I'll have my laptop charger in here. My laptop and my iPad both charge in the same charger, so I only need one. Next, I have headphones because if you are studying film and television or anything as such, you need actual headphones for editing and all of that good stuff. And we do sound design as well. So we need headphones. These, I can barely hear myself speaking out of. I'm probably shouting. I am probably shouting. So yeah, we've got headphones. Good old trusty. Stole these from my dad. Haha. <laughs> He's got AirPods now though, so he doesn't even notice. Next I have my hard drive. This is mostly for personal use. We kind of tend to have a lot of breaks in between classes in college. They can be like an hour to almost three hours sometimes. And it's kind of just a sitting around waiting game. Obviously you can do college work and stuff in that time, but sometimes I'll want to use it as a time to do YouTube stuff, etc. So I need my hard drive and I need to be able to edit. So boom. And then I have like an extension. Yeah, an extension lead kind of thing. I have a new MacBook Air. It has like a weird, port thing. So this lets me put in an SD card, a USB. That right there is for my keyboard. So yeah, it has a few outlets in it. So I need that for my laptop. And lastly, I've got pen nibs for my Apple Pencil. I have only ever had one of my pen nibs break on my Apple Pencil, but I've got three replacements. So if it ever breaks again, I'm covered. Next, what do I have next? So next is my laptop. 
I have this at the back of my bag. It is a 15 inch Kankin and it does have a laptop like slot place in the back of it but when I have this case on it it's too big for it. But this case is from Sostren and Grain. It just gives me a bit of reassurance that my laptop is kind of tucked in and safe at the back. I won't have my laptop with me every day. This will only be coming with me like once or twice a week if that but I have a case for her anyway. So this is my laptop. As you can see I got a printer last week that was in last week's video and I kind of went a little bit crazy. I made this notice board and now I've made a lot of stickers and you're going to see them on lots of other things in this bag but yeah. It is a MacBook Air. I got it last year. She is a 15 inch I'm pretty sure but actually no I think it is smaller. Couldn't tell you to be honest with you now I really couldn't tell you but that is my laptop. She sits in here, safely tucked away from the world. Next. Keeping on the train of technology, we have my iPad. Now this will be with me every single day. No matter where I go in life, my iPad comes with me. This is like another limb to me. I, this is the one thing in life I've never, ever, 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 ever regretted buying and I love her. Again, she is covered in stickers. <laughs> I need someone to take my printer away from me. You can climb in my window, do a little bit of an Edward Cullen on it and steal my printer because this is unhealthy. Lots of film stickers. This is my favorite. Can you see? It's basically Matilda and it says Matilda was left alone. That's how she liked it. And when I'm on my iPad, people know, stay away. I'm an introvert. Next item. Let's just get all the things covered in stickers out of the way. So this is my water bottle. Wow. Wow. 10 out of 10. This is my Simply Modern 32 ounces, which is nearly a liter water bottle. I, <laughs> I would cut off my right arm for this. I love it. It's new. I needed one for college and I'm completely obsessed. I can keep ice in it. It will stay cold all day for me in college. So I'm super happy about it. And water bottles are essential. I just think it's important to have water with you. Really important because I haven't had a good water bottle before this one and I would often end up spending money at the vending machine to get water. Why would I be doing that? I now have this. It's so much better. So much better for the environment, so much better for money wise. It's just the love of my life. So next we have a notebook. Ta-da! This is definitely my favorite notebook at the moment. It has lemons on it. But I'm also kind of torn on what notebooks to use. So I'm gonna show you guys my other ones. So I also have this one. Yes, the price sticker is still on it. The dotted notebook. I have this notebook. So this notebook has the days, the week. I feel like this would be a good one to have in my bag. If we're in class and the lecturer says that on Wednesday we have this, this and this coming up or we need an assignment for that. I feel like this will be really handy for me to be able to just pull out and write down. But the reality is when I have an iPad, I don't really use my notebooks. So I'm going to have to pick two. I'm gonna have to narrow it down. Do you prefer handwriting or typing? If you do, then definitely bring a few notebooks with you. Try to go on the thinner side. These ones are really great. They're from Muji. I find them like nice and thin and lightweight. So you could carry about five of these and it would probably equal literally the weight of this one in comparison because it's a bit thicker. So yeah, I think if you like to handwrite, definitely get yourself notebooks. But if you have something like an iPad or a laptop, probably bring one to maximum. I love to handwrite. Okay, so let's go into my pencil case. This is my pencil case. I know I just said I'm not gonna be writing much, but I don't care. I have a pencil case and I love her. So first thing in my pencil case, we have a mini notebook. Just really handy to have, super lightweight. Thought it would be good to just fit it into my pencil case. Next, we have a deck of playing cards. My best friend and I bought these 
at one point before COVID had happened when we were in college, just for those hours where we're waiting in between lectures sometimes, that we have something to do. So we have a deck of playing cards. We also bought a chessboard, but it got thrown out. After COVID happened, they emptied everyone's lockers and <laughs> she's gone. I then have a pair of glasses. I should be wearing glasses 24 seven, but I don't. I always want to have a pair in my pencil case in case I forget because Let's be real, I'm gonna forget. So yes, these are my glasses. I have lazy eyes, literally. I have like two lazy eyes. So I have to wear these all the time. We have a lip balm. I've got three different highlighters. A few of our lecturers like to print out things for us, so it's good to be able to highlight and write on their notes or whatever it is they're handing out to us. So I find them pretty convenient if you ask me. I obviously have lots of pens. I have a pencil that hasn't been sharpened at all. Two Muji pens that are both 0.5. I wish I had gotten smaller but c'est la vie. Can you see? I also really like these big pens. I have this pen because like, I've had this actual like silver part since I was 16 and then I just keep putting it on to new ones of these I guess. I don't know why. I also don't know why I buy this because, look, I'm all out of black. I hate every other colour on it. I will only write in black. It kills me the thought of even writing in blue. So I don't know why I buy this, but I almost feel like it's a good luck charm since I've had it since I was 16. So she stays in my pencil case. I then have some sticky notes. These sticky notes are fun because they're blue and they're circular which I find really entertaining. And then I have two rubbers. So that's everything in my pencil case. I love her, we love her. Let's see what we have. We're nearly at the end. Okay, so I also have a book in here. This is not a book I'm reading at the moment or anything. It's just for example, but usually I'm reading. So I will be taking my book into college with me so that I can read it when I am there. You know, you know, because they keep giving us lectures with three hour breaks in between. Why? I could be at home. So the last compartment is another bag. <laughs> this is kind of what I would call my health and well-being bag. This is like, if you need something, it's here. It's a growing process. I think more will be added to this bag over the year. So first thing I have is a brand new umbrella because you never know when it's gonna rain. I think it is an eventuality that I can't ignore. I do live in a country that rains 350 days of the year. I have three masks in here. These are like spare masks. I'll obviously have masks on me going into college, but these are if one goes missing, a friend needs one, I need one, you know. I have another bag within a bag. Okay, so this is where my fear of not being able to tie up my hair comes in. I've got another clip. I have another clip, and I have another clip, and I have a tie back. I also have a mask chain. I think for college, it'll be so convenient. It also says my name on it. See, I have some painkillers because pain is inevitable in life. <laughs> then I have my organic cup, which is my menstrual cup. I don't have any tampons at the moment, so I will get some and add them to this bag for me or friend's little bag, which is so cute. So yeah, that's always needed just in case your time of the month says, surprise, shoddy. And you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. You aren't supposed to be here right now. I'm in the middle of a lecture. So lastly, within this, I have cranberry juice for my for my little kidney infections and my UTIs. I get UTIs, kidney infections pretty much all the time and they come out of nowhere and there's nothing more painful than that. So I have an emergency cranberry juice carton. I have cranberry extract tablets and I have a mini hot water bottle because hot water bottles are really soothing to me and if I happen to get one, I have no shame in walking around college with a hot water bottle like this. You never know, eventualities. You don't wanna be sick and uncomfortable in college, so. 
Now realistically, I will keep all of this kind of stuff in my locker. I don't know if every college has one, but we can buy one if we want to for the year. If your laptop's in your bag, anything, things are valuable, you wanna be able to lock them away. So I think it's always a good option to look into it if your college has it and see if they're close to where your lectures are. We have our own lockers within our building, so it's very convenient, very easy to get to. So I think having things like my little health and wellness bag with not things that I need every single day but things that can come in very useful I will put them in my locker rather than in my bag because my bag just needs to be like what I need then there right now all of that good stuff that is pretty much everything that I can possibly think of right now so just have a few like emergency things that you need your pencil case a few pens one or two notebooks and your laptop iPad whatever it is you use and it's always good to look into any little things that you need for your specific course for me for example I definitely need headphones I need my laptop I need technical equipment and some days I'm going to need my cameras etc. Yeah that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I thought this might be helpful to anyone going into college or if you're like me and you're just a little lost on what college used to be like since it's been so long. This is just what I'm bringing, what I'm thinking of, what I feel I need right now. And that's about it. But thank you all for watching so much. I adore you all. Please stick around, subscribe below, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.